Well, how are you then, my good friends of YouTube? Well, it's been a while, <coughs> and I'd like to wish you all a very good new year, and of course, hope you all had a good Christmas. Uh, so, just thought I'd do a video, just a bit of a catch up and show you something pretty awesome that I've done. Um, well, I think it's awesome, <coughs> and uh, yeah, just get on with the video. Just hope you're all well, and uh, had a great new year made some new year resolutions have you you've done what no you'll never stick to it <laughs> uh, new year's resolution what have I done um, try and do more high voltage <laughs> and uh, yeah that's about as much as it goes for my new year's resolution I ate a lot of mince pies for Christmas I ate a lot of chocolate and cakes and uh, yeah but now of course I'm gonna try and cut some of it down because I was getting a bit of a belly, and uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll cut down and get a bit of belly, a bit lose some of my uh, my stomach, because uh, I'm getting a bit, a bit of belly. <laughs> oh dear, <clears throat> I just enjoy eating. I don't drink, and well, I say I don't drink. I have a little bit of Christmas and stuff like that. Don't smoke. Only my downfall is that I really enjoy eating chocolate and cakes and things, but. Uh, I definitely need to put them down. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble anymore. Let's just get on with the video, shall we? Right, uh, that's what I've been messing about with there. Bit of old uh, half bridge. That's not the, what I'm doing in the video, of course. I've got something else to show you. We well, yeah, messing around, just putting a bit of a half bridge together. I'm actually in the process of getting a full bridge together, guys. So don't worry, it will be on the cards. It will, I should say, it is on the cards. Uh, got some nice heat sinks there with some beautiful IGBTs on there. I don't know if I showed those in my last video, I can't remember. Got another scope, got another frequency uh, driver, or should I say a function generator. Let's turn the video to the side so you can see it. Yeah, and I've got this scope, got some nice little options, uh, extras on there compared to this one. But uh, yeah, found it at the scrap yard. So I've got a function generator there, function generator there, a really nice function generator there. So I've got three function generators, which are pretty good for driving stuff. And uh, let's get on with it anyway. So guys, look at this I've made. This was some sort of decoration. Um, I'd like uh, some houses in it for uh, for Christmas and stuff like that. And it was on like a ceramic base, so I broke the ceramic base off. Well, it was like a ceramic, it was pot. Same thing it's made with, your cups are made out of. Um, and, uh, of course, nice little breather there for the vacuum. Two electrodes. And uh, let's see what happens, shall we? There's a bit of a vacuum in there at the minute. Of course, I've got it high up at the moment, because I've just, I'm just testing it out. So I've got it on me, 150kV X-ray transformer. Running it off, um, not the half bridge, can't be bothered to set it up, off a ZVS driver. So, there's the vacuum. I know, look, freaking absolutely rammed in here, guys. Freaking rammed. <laughs> I've got too much stuff. Right, let's turn the old lights down. See what happens, shall we? <clears throat> What's it doing? I think we need to put the vacuum on a bit more. I think it's burning the bloody rubber in there. Hold on. That is insane. Oh, 
like a giant LED. It does look like an LED. Look at that in there, guys. Just going to double check and make sure it's not hot. No, it's cold. It's cold. I expected it to get hot. Creeps over. That is astonishing guys, off camera. Let's just turn the lights on. The electrodes, unfortunately, have darkened. I think what I'm going to have to do is get some little bits of wire off them, clean them back up again because they could be conductive now with the carbon build-up. And of course, trim some of that uh, rubber away from that uh, electrode. That electrode doesn't. It seems to be okay this side, but the only warmth is it's just warm. Not even like a radiator, it's just warm due to it being right next to the corona. Let's have a look that way, it looks like in there. And the light on. That guys is about 10 volts. TVS is freezing. 20 volts. Look at that. I wonder what would happen if you uh, put a capacitor on parallel on that. I think we might try that. Let's pause the video. I'll put a capacitor over it. Parallel. Is it me or does it seem to be reacting different? So weird. I love that blue. Oh, look at 
that, it's like a shield around that. That is so weird. That effect is insane. Plasma, awesome. Looks a lot brighter on the camera than it does off camera. It's making a very strange noise. See these pieces of rubber, I use epoxy, you know the two pack mix epoxy and of course to get the, the layers of rubber because this glass bowl wasn't 100% um, level so instead of course filing it down I thought I'd just use a few sheets of um, leather, sorry rubber, if I did say rubber, uh, leather, uh, a few, I think I used four pieces of rubber that stuff there look. The lights are a bit uh, dull actually. There we go guys. There you go. It's just like inner tube thickness rubber. So look at those electrodes now look. See where it's sucked the two pack where it's not been a hundred percent dry. Look at that electrode completely destroyed it that's uh, two pack as well epoxy around because I had to make sure that no threads or any leaks of course from this that's not a pulse cap by the way it's just a ordinary film cap rolled film cap That was awesome. Well, guys, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you're all well and uh, looking after yourselves. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you're new to my videos, guys. Uh, we will be coming back to that, or we'll be trying new things with it. And uh, hopefully, by the time our next video, or whenever, get this full bridge to sorted out. Because I need to get that full bridge working. I need to be getting power into these transformers. Because I'm only sticking probably 110, 120 volts. Once you've been through the half bridge, full bridge, or oh, you're going to see some serious shit. I'm telling you now, some big ox, nice big streamers. <laughs> and of course, imagine putting that into that coil. Damn. I mean, the most I've ever had to, I've had out of that um, Tesla coil is, well, should I say, you know, the length of the streamers. I would probably say probably 14 feet at the most, probably 16 feet at the most, should I say, the length from them. You can imagine when I'm sticking that amount in it. I need to get some new capacitors. Any of you got any nice big high voltage porch caps? Need a new home? Send them my way. <laughs> And of course, going back to the, um, the website, guys, um, it's on hold at the moment. Uh, the guy, of course, who's doing it for me um, doesn't seem to be available. I don't know, of course, if anything's gone off in his life, of course, but uh, that's definitely on the hold at the moment. And I do apologise because it was looking pretty good. But now, of course, it's, uh, it's on the down low. <laughs> so uh, I'll get something sorted out, don't worry. So, thanks for watching, look after yourselves, be safe, I wish you all the very best for the new year, and uh, thanks for watching guys, see you later.